Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today, we're taking a look at a Civivi Voltaic. I know, it's been a while since I've reviewed a Civivi. Um, especially a new Civivi. But this is... Jeez, when are you guys going to be seeing this video? Sometime in 2023? January, February-ish? <laughs> well, this was a new release in 2022. And, um, well, obviously I got my hands on it. And I've been carrying it and using it for a while now. And, uh, yeah, it's time for the review. Um, I've definitely got some thoughts to share. So, first of all, the name of this knife, the Civivi Voltaic. Um, I guess Voltaic is kind of synonymous with uh, Galvanic. Um, but, anyways, it's a, a, like a, an electrical current produced by a chemical reaction. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and start off with our blade length measurement. We're coming in here just a little bit under three and a half inches, just a hair. So definitely a um, good amount of blade here. I would call this a average sized knife. Let's do our size comparisons. There's our rat one, the two. Falls in pretty nicely between those guys. Yeah, put those back. I need like three or four different arms to do all my size comparison stuff. Here's the Benchmade Bug Out and the Spyderco PM2. So yeah, definitely a good size knife. Um, I would say it's it can do everything you need. And let's get our Civivis. There's the Praxis. The Elementum. Oh, isn't that cute? The Elementum and our Voltaic kind of match. Yeehaw. And let's compare against a couple of other Civivis I have lying around. Here's my favorite Civivi. The Statera. It's been discontinued for a long time. And here's the Conspirator. Cool, cool, cool. What are we looking at in terms of materials? Well, we have a 14C28N spear point blade, which is really cool. I like to see that. We have Gaborsha wood over a steel frame lock. I will call these overlays. I'm going to call this a steel frame lock, not an online lock. Uh, steel clip, ball bearings, and the pivot. All right, let's go ahead and get to the cutting footage. All righty, guys, you ready to talk about the Civivi? Voltaic? I sure am. So, let's get right into this. Now, in a strange change of schedule, I filmed the review for this before I filmed the review cutting. And remember, I use my knives, I do testing. The review cutting is just for the reviews. That's not, you know, all the testing I do. Um, but normally, I film the review cutting before I do the review. So, this is a little bit weird for me. My schedule is crazy. I'm not sure when you guys will be seeing this, probably in like February, but I'm filming this in December. It's in fact tomorrow's Christmas Eve. But uh, yeah, <laughs> all kinds of junk on there. In the review for this, I mean, I was going to give this knife a really positive review and you'll see it, it, it's, it, the review sounds a little more negative. So I want to say right now that I do like this knife, but um, it is kind of boring. <laughs> so I mean, that's kind of the, that's kind of par for the course with Civivi these days, though. Nothing surprising, right? Anyways, let's talk about this knife. Let's talk, let's, uh, let's stalk, let's stalk. <sighs> let's start. Maybe if I talked slower, we'd have less stuttering and hiccups. We're going to talk about this knife today. This is Civivi Voltaic. It's made with 14C28N for the blade. It's got wood overlays on a steel frame lock. It's running on bearings. <laughs> okay, so the action. Very good, actually. Um, the detent is nice and snappy. You can reverse flick it off of that fuller. The close is very smooth. I remember when I first got into the hobby, everyone was like, oh, Civivi has the best budget actions. And the first few Civivis I got were, well, 
they were thumb studs or front flippers. And I was like, yeah, these do have really great action. And then I started getting some Civivi flippers and most of them just had crappy detents. And I was like, what's everyone talking about? Maybe I was just getting, you know, duds. It happens, right? But this, this has a type of action that I was always expecting. Very snappy. The flipper tab is angled directly where you want it. It's above the center line of the pivot. The jimping on it is really good. Yeah, it fires out of there. And very smooth close. You can reverse flick it. Sometimes you can thumb flick it if you're not on the lock bar. Come on. There we go. So, yeah. How are the ergonomics? It's a very thin knife and it's kind of smooth. And so the ergonomic lines are fine. It is a little bit thin though, so keep that in mind. And this clip, this stupid Civivi clip, it's always just such an aggravation in the ergonomics department. They really, really need to do something different with their clips. Um, I don't know what, maybe like, I don't know, milled titanium clips? You know, if they're going to be charging us 75, 80 bucks for their, their Civivis, maybe they should, you know, throw on a titanium clip. I'm pretty sure that won't skyrocket the price to 180 bucks. Maybe it will. Who knows? But uh, yeah, the ergonomics are absolutely fine. You can get uh, micarta versions, and that would probably cut down on the slipperiness. Um, but yeah, the jimping up here is fairly good. It doesn't go out quite as far as I would want, but the texture is pretty nice. So I'm not going to knock them too hard on that. How does it carry? Well, like we were talking about, it is a slim knife. It folds up into a really, really nice package. Um, I think this looks really sexy. I, I think this knife looks really good. It is very plain and boring in the knife roll today, but it does look very good. When it's folded up, it looks very sleek and elegant. The clip is reversible, so that's always a plus. Let's go ahead and tilt down here, get the crotch shot. It's a Civivi clip. It works fine in and out of the pocket. Like, I really have no complaints. This knife, it tucks away nice. You can get your hand down in your trousers. Yeah, it it's completely fine. Um, it is a little bit denser than you might expect since it's a steel frame lock. It's got a little bit of a higher specific gravity than you might expect from a similarly sized knife that's a liner lock. But I find that weight to be a little bit good. The balance on this knife is off a little bit. If we balance a knife... It balances right there. I do wish it was moved forward a little bit, but you know, it, I do appreciate the little bit of extra weight and solidity in the hand. So I'm not gonna complain a whole lot. Okay, let's go ahead and do some slicing. 14C, 28 in, spear point blade, nice and thin behind the edge like Civivi usually does. They're, they're very good about that. And, what I'm talking about. Very nice and slicey. Uh, this does have one of my edges on it. Uh, I did use this knife till it was dull before I had a chance to do the review cutting. So, you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, let's go ahead and do some utility cuts because spear point blades are great for utility cuts. If you get all the way through on the first go. But yeah, not a problem there. Really great blade shape for EDC. Love the 14C28 in. I'm glad they didn't go Nitro V on this. If they had gone Nitro V, this knife probably would have cost a hundred bucks. Like the Terax. So Vivi, if your Nitro V really costs that much more, just use 14C. I think universally it's a more liked steel. And if it's cheaper, that's what we want. Make knives smarter, not harder. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our uh, rope here. Uh, where's the end? There it is. <whistles> nice and clean. Let's see how it does on the pushes. One, two, three. Okay, you know what? It did pretty well. Uh, those first two, I might have been a little bit off, but it still got through pretty well. Um, the flat grind really helps knives push through the rope. Hollow grinds don't typically do as good on the rope, so 
you know, that's one thing this full flat grind has going for it. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of full flat grinds, but I also like a, a very nice deep hollow grind, especially on knives like this that are just EDC knives. Um, and I kind of miss, you know, Savivi used to do all of the great deep hollow grinds, but they, they don't really anymore. And that's, that's kind of a shame. Okay, let's get our pool noodle out here. Cut off that little bit. So yeah, this knife does have my edge on it, but Savivi's really good about getting their blade geometry really, really dialed in. As you can see here, we got a lot of nice, thin little Cheerios. No complaints whatsoever. Very well done. Like most Savivi's, it is a performer. All right, let's get back to the table. Finish off this review. And we're back. All right, let's get into what I'm liking and not liking about this knife. Um, number one, I think it's a good looking knife. We'll get in a little, we'll get into looks a little bit later on, but I do think it's a good looking knife. I love spear point, drop point blades with folders. Um, I don't know why, but I do. I like the wood with the black. I think that looks really, really good. So yeah, cool. There are a couple of different versions of this knife that you can get. Uh, some of them have a bead blast, which, mm, but you know, yeah, a couple different versions. Next thing, the action. I like the action. I have complained in the past that Svivi's action has never quite lived up to, you know, the, the the bar that everyone else was setting. You know, I remember hearing, oh, that, that Savivi action. Oh, the action's so amazing. Oh, Savivi does the best budget actions. And every Savivi that I ever handled, I was like, eh. I mean, the action was either okay or terrible this this one has a good action um get the detents dialed very well small flipper tab but it's gymmed nicely you can get a good solid flip out of that the fuller i can flip it like that flick flick it like that i can sometimes thumb flick it it's a little bit difficult to thumb flick but every once in a while i get it um but yeah Pretty smooth on the clothes. This guy could probably even use with a little bit of lubing. I've been carrying him for a while. Whoops. I'll drop just a little bit of KPL in there for him. Probably should take him apart and clean him up, but for now we'll just do the KPL in there. Let that work in. Next thing, I like the build on this guy. Um, we can see here the wood inlay is done pretty uniquely. I like how we have like this little wing of the frame that comes down and over. I think that's a really cool design feature. I like the the the, the steel is chamfered on the sides. Got all kinds of crap on here. If you look at the blade finish, it's it's fairly nice. It's got some scuffs and stuff on it right now. But one thing I really like is that we have external stop pins. And I love these like tracks that are milled in here for it. Um, external stop pins are great for stability and lockup, but I also think they just look really cool. <laughs> and that's, I know that's kind of a little bit of a, I mean, it doesn't really mean that much, but this, you know, and then you see that stop pin moving, it locks up. To me, that's just so much more satisfying and interesting than, you know, oh, there's your stop pin, ta-da. But yeah, this knife is built very well. It feels very solid. Um, it's it's a little bit heavy because it's a steel frame lock, but I like that. It feels, it, it's a thin knife, you know, it's got a thin handle and, you know, Sometimes I, 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 me personally, I don't like my knives to feel thin. They feel flimsy. This one does not. This feels very solid, very sturdy, very reliable. And I like that a lot. Uh, let's talk about the ergonomics. They're okay. Um, I think the ergonomic lines are really good. We'll talk about the ergonomics in a little bit. The knife is a little bit wider in this dimension than you, than you might expect. Um, but yeah, it fits in the hand really good. And especially just for an EDC knife, um, it works out really well.
You have a reversible clip, which is cool. Lefties rejoice. Access to the lock bar is really good. You have a chamfer here on the lock bar, and you can see there it's got like those milled lines. I like that. Looks classy, and it's easy to easy to get to and disengage. The blade itself is excellent. Great shape for EDC. Um, spear points are really good. You can get to your, your utility cuts. You can do some piercing. Um, it's got a good, it's nice and thin behind the edge. It is a full flat grind, which is, I'm glad they did a full flat grind. I would have preferred to see a hollow grind on this. I, I love full flat grinds. I really do. They are fantastic. However, a full flat grind works best on broad blades. This blade here is not super broad. I think it would have been better with a very deep hollow grind. Um, as it is though, you get some good edge stability. You do come to a nice thin edge. It does slice and cut very well, but you know, just as you sharpen it more, you know, you will get thicker pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I just think this, this might have been a little bit better with the hollow grind. But good blade, I love 14C 28 in. I'm really glad they didn't go with Nitro V. I love to see the 14C. Um, you can choke up into here if you're careful. Like I can get like my first knuckle in there, which is fine for you know certain types of tasks. Other than that, I, as you can see, I'm pretty much on the edge. But yeah, pretty good blade, good handle. The knife carries well with a reversible clip, fold up into a nice slim package. It looks really classy in my opinion. And yeah, I just, I, there's a lot about the, the, the look and overall aesthetic of this knife I like. It works very good as an EDC knife. And uh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and talk about some of the negatives. Number one, I just don't like this clip, Civivi. Um, I'm probably gonna put a titanium clip on this, on this knife, but this clip here, I just don't like. I can feel it in my hand quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it, it really does bother bother me with the ergos on this knife, especially on a handle that's this thin, that, that's this narrow. I mean, look how tall that clip is. No, I just, it needs a different clip. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention that I like is I actually like this little three groove cutout for the, um, for the lock bar release or, or yeah, relief, not release. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Um, next thing. It does look kind of generic. It looks like a lot of Civivis, especially uh, nowadays. But again, it's a good looking knife, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to rail them too hard on that. Um, we already, actually, we already talked about a lot of my, a lot of my complaints. I do wish it was a hollow grind. Um, the versions, there are some versions that have a bead blast. I don't really like that. Um, and that's really about it. Um, oh, I also like that they have a lanyard pin in the back. That's cool. And uh, yeah, T8 hardware all the way around. Really, really nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get on to my final conclusions. I know, wow, this is going to be a short video, right? <laughs> my final conclusions are, I think this is cool. Um, I like seeing Civivi doing these steel frame locks. A lot of people are complaining. I like steel frame locks. I, I really do. I, I prefer them over liner locks. I think they're fun and, and unique. Um, and so I was attracted to this knife because of that. And I'm not really a huge budget uh, button lock uh, fan, as you guys know. And so this reminded me of like a conspirator uh, without the, but the button lock. So I really wanted to get my hands on one. Now... This knife has a lot of my Civivi complaints with the clip. It is a kind of boring knife, but at the end of the day, it's a really good EDC. It's a really good EDC knife. I've carried it a lot. Um, I finished taking my finals just recently. I'm filming this in December. <laughs> and um, this was in my pocket the entire week. It's a really good knife. Love the 14C 28N. And yeah, it's, it's a really great knife. The price, these are a little bit pricey. 75 to 80 bucks, that's too much. That is too much. And if that's the cost of these frame locks, yeah, I will say, I do think this knife 
is has more work put put into it than this knife does. Um, this knife feels a little bit nicer. So I would I would price this knife at like. $65. You know, it, it is nicer than some of their older stuff that's just a, a liner lot. But I do think Civivi's getting a little bit extreme on their pricing. I am glad they didn't do Nitro V because if they had put this knife with Nitro V, it would probably would have cost over $100. For some reason, I don't know why Civivi thinks their Nitro V is worth that much. In my opinion, their 14C is a lot better. But here's the thing. If you're looking for a good EDC knife and you don't already have one, this would be a good a good little knife. Um, I enjoy this knife. I do enjoy carrying this knife. I like I like the wood and stuff. Um, but it is a pretty generic little knife. And this review is going to sound so much more negative. I like this knife a lot. Do I recommend it? Yes. Um, however, I think Savivi needs to slow down on their pricing. I think they need to start giving us better clips, which I think they are starting to do. Um, but Civivi's starting to win me back. I really do enjoy this knife a lot. I'm glad I checked it out. I love that Civivi's doing more steel frame locks. And, um, yeah, it's just, it, it, it's cool. It's a good knife. There's not a whole lot to say. Like, I like this knife a lot more than this video is making it seem like. Um, ah. <sighs> In fact, this video is almost sounding kind of, oh, well, here's another knife. I, I do like this knife a lot, but I don't know. I guess that's just the way Civivi is as a brand now. Like, it's a good knife, but it's not amazing, I guess. And so even though I really, really love the knife, like I really love this knife, it appeals to my aesthetic a lot. Um, it is generic, and it is, in my opinion, a little bit overpriced. Jeez, I don't know. This is, gosh. I sat down to film this video, and I was all excited. I'm like, yes, I'm going to be filming a positive Civivi video. That's something I haven't done in a while. And, like, yeah. I'm not sure how to, how to impress upon you guys that this is a really cool knife that I do enjoy. Um, but it also feels kind of bland at the same time. It's really weird. It, it, it's really, really weird. But here's what I'm going to say. Build quality, top notch. Um, it looks good as a design. It looks good. It functions good. Um, you, user uh, Usability. You know, the handle is pretty thin and stuff. Uh, the, the clip I, does dig in a little bit. I wish it was a hollow grind, but... Utility on this knife is is, is good. Um, originality is not high, <laughs> but yeah, definitely definitely a good a good little knife. I'm glad I have it. I'm going to be carrying it for a while. It is one of my new favorite Civivis, absolutely. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, comment below, and subscribe. I've been Gideon. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.